Hey everybody, it's Jim from Cigar, Cigar, Cigars. And I'm going to do something a little bit different in this video. There are two Oliva cigars that have either exclusivity with a certain seller or are rather limited in terms of production. And we'll kind of compare them and see which one's the better deal. And I'll tell you how you can get a hold of them. So let's start with the Oliva Black Swan. And if you're unfamiliar with the term Black Swan, it means a very rare event. The meaning of that in terms of the cigar is Oliva has generally very large production requirements because we are all familiar with the V and the O and the G and all that stuff. Big number of cigars, huge sellers. But they accumulate a certain amount of tobacco that they don't use in those cigars. And it's in such a quantity that they really can't come out with another V type production cigar. So they come out with something limited. And that is how they came up with the Black Swan. What is limited in this particular cigar is the wrapper, which is a true Connecticut, grown in Connecticut, broadleaf wrapper, and it is a dark Maduro. I, hopefully the camera is picking up how dark that is. This is truly the name Black Swan probably relates to that as well. The Black Swan, as with the other cigar I'm going to talk about, has limited distribution, and at the moment I'm only aware of this being sold on CigarPage.com. So if you want to try one, I think that's the only place to go, but look around, maybe somebody else has them as well. I'm getting down to the end of this Oliva Black Swan cigar. And first thing I want to report about this is the construction on this cigar is immaculate. The burn has been perfect. Smoke production, great. Draw, perfect. It is, in terms of construction, a perfect cigar. Flavor-wise, I'm not too crazy about it. It is really strong. That strong Maduro flavor comes through. And also, it's packed with Nicaraguan Ligero fillers. So this is a pretty strong cigar. They bill it as medium full in what I've seen. But honestly, this comes across to me as full body. And I would describe it as a powerhouse. If you like a strong cigar, this might be one for you. If you're more a medium or medium mild sort of smoker, man, this one I think is a little bit too much. Flavor wise, it doesn't pack as much flavor as I think a cigar with that kind of body should have. It's primarily earthy with kind of a woody finish to it. But beyond that, I'm not getting anything like, you know, a vanilla or a caramel or any, anything even resembling sweetness. In terms of smoking experience, the construction really helps a lot. But the taste really, like I said, is, isn't, isn't exciting me too much. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 in terms of smoking experience. Again, if you like strong cigars, this one I think is for you. Also, it's a good price performer on Cigar Page. I've seen this for, depending on the size, between 5 and 7 bucks a piece if you get a 5 pack. It's priced right and at the risk of sounding repetitive. If you're a bold cigar smoker, I think you might like it. I am going on to my second Oliva limited distribution cigar, which is the Oliva Monticello. I actually, I actually had to look up how to pronounce that. It is Monticello, and it comes in cellophane, apparently. All right, bad joke. All right, back to business here. You can see the weather has taken a turn for the worse since yesterday. Before I go on, I did want to mention a couple things. When I was talking about the Black Swan, cigar from Oliva. I didn't mention I've smoked three or four of those up to date. So I did have some experience before I smoked that one yesterday. Same thing with the Monticello. I actually have a box of these that I'm four or five into the box. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Let's look at the cigar. It's a very unique shape. It is kind of a soft box press, which kind of gives it an oval appearance. So it's kind of interesting. The closest I've seen to this cigar is the Norteño by Drew Estate, which really looks like an engineering pencil. Wrapper on this is a Maduro, all Nicaragua. It's claimed by Oliva to be an estate cigar grown all at Oliva property. Um, compare that though to the Black Swan. That's also was also a Maduro. That almost came across like a San Andres, even though it was a Connecticut Bromley. This is a much more subdued Maduro, more brown than black like the black swan is. All right, I'm going to get this thing lit up and I will report back in a minute. 
I'm far enough along to talk a little bit more about this Monticello. As I said, this is probably the fifth one I've smoked. And it's a very good cigar. Construction, as you can see, has been good. Burn is perfect, just like the Black Swan was yesterday. And draw, excellent. In terms of flavor, quite a big departure from the Black Swan, though. This is more closer to medium to medium full, and it's right in between. It, it really isn't true medium full. It's a little bit less than that. But it's more of a woody type taste, complemented by cinnamon and a little bit of cream and vanilla. If you're going to compare this to something, maybe the Oliva G and Oliva Milanio had a love child, and this would be it. Pretty good cigar, I got to say. In terms of overall smoking experience, I'm going to say 8.25. And I'm really splitting hairs there. It's a pretty good cigar. I do want to talk a little bit about the distribution on these cigars. As I said, Black Swan is pretty much exclusive through Cigar Page. And this Monticello is exclusive through Holt Cigar Company. Speak to their pricing. It is goofy. I'm going to put up a couple of pages from their, their website. And sometimes it's $22 a stick. I got these for, I think, eight, something like that. These are, this is a Toro size, by the way. And I showed that page just so you know I'm not BSing you. It really was about eight bucks. I think a hundred, actually more like seven fifty a stick. So if you're not picky about your Vitola, you can get these pretty good. And if you want to buy a box, a five pack of this same size was a hundred bucks. So, so there's no rhyme or reason to their pricing, but maybe you can get a good deal if you go on and kind of browse around a little bit. Two good cigars from Oliva. If you're interested, look them up. See you next time.